We'll have that matter looked into right away to try and make sure it is remedied uh, forthwith. The House now comes to questions for oral answer, and the first question stands in the name of Louise Upston. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Finance and asks, what reports has he received on the economy? The Honourable Bill English. Mr Speaker, this morning the Reserve Bank issued its monetary policy statement for December. It confirmed that the official cash rate has remained unchanged at 2.5 per cent, uh, supported by the government's fiscal policy and reducing offshore financing costs. This will help keep New Zealanders' interest rates lower for longer. A family with a $200,000 floating rate mortgage is now paying $200 a week less in interest costs than they were four years ago. A significant saving in difficult times that is enabling them to further reduce their debt. The monetary policy statement today presented a similar overall economic outlook to the previous statement in September. The outlook is slightly weaker in the near term, but activity is expected to be stronger in 2014-15. Louise Upson. What does the Reserve Bank say about the cost of living and forecasts for the consumer price inflation? The Honourable Bill English. Mr Speaker, uh, current CPI inflation is at 0.8 per cent, uh, which is the lowest it has been in nearly 13 years. The Reserve Bank expects inflation to remain comfortably within the target band. That is good news for families who are trying to save and get ahead. Uh, so they've got the lowest interest rates on mortgages in around 40 years and the lowest inflation in 13 years. Uh, the strong New Zealand dollar is helping to keep tradable sector inflation low, as is the spare capacity uh, in the economy. Louise Upson. Thank you, Mr Speaker. What are the Reserve Bank's forecasts for economic growth over the next three years? And what are the main factors behind those forecasts? The Honourable Bill English. Speaker, the bank projects uh, annual real GDP growth of 2.2%, 2.8% and 2.9% respectively over the next three years. The forecasts are a little weaker in the short term but higher over, the next, over year two and year three. Uh, this is <coughs> consistent with um, the recent history of the economy ticking along at growth rates of around 2 or 3 per cent. The bank noted four key factors influencing the outlook. The Canterbury rebuild, uh, global economic activity and inflation are expected to remain subdued. The Kiwi dollar is expected to remain high and tighter fiscal policies is expected to dampen demand. The Hon. Sure. David Parker. Given today's news that the Reserve Bank Governor is negotiating the use of macroprudential tools like loan to valuation ratios, does he now admit for the last four years he was wrong in saying that our monetary policy required no change because it was already world's best practice? The Honourable Bill English. Uh, Mr Speaker, no. In fact, I've been part of those negotiations for the last four years. Oh, 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 Louise Upston. What impact has the uncertain global economic situation had on the Reserve Bank's outlook for the economy? The Honourable Bill English. Uh, well, Mr Speaker, it continues to have a significant bearing on the outlook for New Zealand and I think at times on confidence in New Zealand. The euro area remains in recession. Uh, growth prospects uh, seem to be improving in the US and China. Uh, but the international economy continues to weigh on our prospects. Uh, it would certainly be helpful for everybody if the uh, US was able to resolve its current issues around its fiscal deficit, its fiscal policy uh, and its debt ceiling. Uh, if that, that occurred, the US economy may do better next year than expected, and as the world's largest economy, that would certainly help us. Question number two, Grant Robertson. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Tertiary Education, Skills and...